opening the radio access network continues to be a key element in the telco discourse, especially in times of an increased need for competitiveness and improved network performance. Now, I'm delighted to be joined by Wasim Sadiq, Director of Strategic Accounts at Samsung Networks Europe, to find out more about the current open run state. Hi Wasim, great to have you here. So, let's start with Samsung. What is the company's competitive edge in open run and VRAN? Thanks, Shelley. Our competitive edge is our global experience in open run. Um, we have genuine brownfield, greenfield global experience with customers such as Dish Wireless in America, KDDI in Japan, and also Vodafone in the UK. You probably saw last year there were quite a few announcements from the big vendors around their plans and intentions on uh, moving towards open RAN architectures. Well, these aren't plans and intentions for Samsung. We're actually doing it, and we have been doing it for a number of years. So there's also this perception that open RAN deployments to date have been all single vendor. Again, that's not the case with, with Samsung. Um, in the examples I gave you, Dish, KDDI, and Vodafone, we're working with multiple parties. So third parties for radios, third parties for the containerization and the CAS, um, and, and also COT servers. So it's not an end-to-end -end Samsung solution. It really is multi-vendor. And can you tell us about Samsung's Open RAN achievements in 2023? Sure, Open RAN uh, in, in 2023 was a massive year for us. We actually expanded our activity in Europe with Vodafone, Telefonica and Orange. Um, to go into a bit more detail, in the UK, we announced plans to deploy 2,500 sites with Vodafone UK. In Romania, we're working with Orange and Vodafone on Open RAN in a network share scenario. Um, and in Germany, we've been selected by Telefonica O2 to help them test and deploy future uh, network architectures based on, on Open RAN. Uh, and the key thing is we've done all of this whilst we've continued to deploy in a, in a kind of mass rollout fashion with KDDI, Vodafone, and DISH. And we've also strengthened our solution delivery partnerships across the board. So, you know, the, the radios, the CAS, the COTS layer, um, everything we're doing with our partners has, has actually been strengthened in that 2023 timeframe. That's good to know. And what is Samsung's perspective on Open Run and its progress in Europe? The tier ones, um, Vodafone, Telecom Italia, DT, um, Telefonica, for example, they see Open RAN as a, as a tool to help them modernize their networks in the future. Uh, there's a lot of focus on deployment automation and simplifying operations to help reduce rollout costs. Um, operators that we talk to are very sensitive on network performance and customer experience on their network. So we've actually achieved performance parity with the incumbent in the field with Vodafone UK. And that's a, a true multi-vendor system. It's not Samsung end-to-end. These KPIs were presented by Vodafone at the Fuse event in Madrid uh, last October. And to achieve that parity with a legacy vendor who's been doing this for years in such a short space of time, it's, it's really, um, it, it, it highlights the importance of working with our partners. And we're really proud of that. And looking forward, what do you expect to see while Open Run gains momentum in the market? And what are your expectations for this year? As Open RAN gains momentum, you know, we in 2024 we expect to see more more entrants uh, entering the Open RAN ecosystem. I'll give you an example. I was at a, an RFQ kickoff, and the operator in question said that the last time they did the RFQ, there were about five or six vendors. Well, at the recent event, there was about 25. So that just shows you that Open RAN is really bringing in um, competitiveness and and extra potential supplies into the ecosystem. We also expect to see a lot more focus on system integration uh, and maybe some vendor labs and system integration test beds being set up so that these companies can offer services to the operators. Um, and I think if, from Samsung's perspective, this is a good thing. We, we don't shy away from the competition. We're actually uh, addressing one of the key pillars of Open RAN, which is supply diver diversity. And lastly, do you have any final comments you'd like to add? Yeah, sure. So Samsung, we, we are well placed whether the operator is at the beginning of their open round journey or they already have some vendors in mind. So no matter what stage they're at, we're, we're there to help. Um, we have true global experience in green and brownfield networks. 
Samsung can offer multi-vendor pre-integrated solutions that match the performance of legacy vendors. And that's in the field, not just in labs. And in summary, we're, we're confident and upbeat about the year ahead. Well, Sam, it was a pleasure learning more about your views on Samsung's role in the open run space and the market state going forward. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.